Hurts. Could you talk to us about what the prime minister is doing now? Has he met with IDF soldiers? Well, yes, the prime minister has met with IDF soldiers yesterday. In fact, uh, he has met with the uh, secretary of defense, Lloyd Austin, today as well. Uh, yesterday, uh, the prime minister went down south to meet, to meet with one of the prominent uh, southern brigades of the IDF. And he talked to soldiers there, soldiers, Emma, who some of them have lost their friends over the past week. And uh, what, when he came back, the prime minister described that these soldiers had fire in their eyes. He has never seen a fighting spirit of this kind. Um, even though we are a nation in mourning right now, deep mourning, there is much agony across the country. You will not find much despair, but uh, we are very determined, uh, our home front and our front lines, uh, to win this and defeat Hamas. This is the goal that we have defined for this uh, operation in Gaza right now. This is a counteroffensive. I'm reminding your viewers, we did not want this war. It was forced upon us uh, when they launched this bloody massacre, these terrorists, uh, the October 7th massacre about a week ago. Uh, right now, by the way, it is, uh, we're just a few hours before Shabbat. I'm talking to you from Tel Aviv. Um, we are before Shabbat, and this is the time when uh, Jewish Israeli families uh, should be preparing for the Shabbat. Uh, they want to sit around the tables, enjoy the festive Shabbat meal. But 1,300 Israeli families um, will have either missing seats in the Shabbat tables. Um, some families are not there at all. And, uh, they just murdered, butchered them. In a, in a very small country of that, less than 10 million in population. Um, so take that into account when you take in how many were injured, how many were killed, how many are missing this hour. Uh, Tal, I wanted to ask you specifically, thanks, by the way, for, for coming on. I wanted to ask you specifically about the level of concern, not to the south, but to the north right now. We, we're getting reports that there may be possible um, Hezbollah infiltration coming in from Lebanon. Um, are you hearing anything of that? Is what, where, where, where is the level of concern for a threat coming from the north this hour? Well, as we defined the uh, goals of this operation, we said that the first stage is to make sure that Israeli territory is secured. And by that, we're not only meaning the southern border. We're talking about all of our borders uh, and, of course, up in, in the north. Uh, we want to make sure that our border fences, everything is, is protected and under Israeli control. We are also hearing these reports. I can't comment on uh, one specific incident uh, or so, but I can tell you that our enemies should not be trying us. They, should, they are trying to challenge us, though, as you know. And uh, as President Biden said, he said it in one word, don't. He said it to Iran and he said it to Hezbollah. But, Sean, if they do, we are ready. They should not dare. Uh, you know that we have mobilized uh, many forces, over 300,000 reservists, by the way. And going back to your first question, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu also met with one of these soldiers down in the Southern Brigade who was on his way back home to Australia. He had the layover in Singapore. That's when he heard of the massacre on October 7th, and he turned back and he rushed back and joined the reserve force. So our reservists are ready. Our uh, military is ready. And they have a very united, strong nation behind them. All right. Tal Heinrich uh, joining us live. Tal, good to see you. Prayers for your family, your country. Thank you for that. Thank you, Sean. More extended coverage again of the war here as we take a live look at Gaza City right now, 620 local time as night falls here.